everyone, Thomas here and welcome back to another video. So today I'm back here for another collab and today I'm going to go ahead and do this one with my good friend Tonya from Miss Griffey. So today we're going to go ahead and do this decoration battle. Now I actually found out about this type of collab, um, well actually she did one with my good friend Nick from Cool Nicky D who I've also done a collab with in the past um, and she actually did a collab where they kind of just both found a house and agreed on it and then they went ahead and both decorated it separately and they kind of decide who did it better in terms of the decoration and that's what I'm going to go ahead and do today. So I found this house on the gallery from this amazing creator and I'm probably going to mispronounce his name. I feel like it's something like Jinsky or something. I'm going to leave a link down below to the actual house so you can go ahead and see it for yourself. Um, and I've actually used her houses in the past. Um, you may remember a long time ago I actually started this little series on my channel called Lex Decorate and I went ahead and actually kind of do this sort of thing where I decorate homes and I actually used one of her homes um, for that first episode. So she's a really amazing creator and she actually uploads a lot of unfinished homes so I thought it would be a really good idea to go ahead and choose one of hers to do this collab with today. So make sure you head over to Tony channel to go ahead and see her version of this as well and then in the comment section down below let us know who did you think won the battle and yes so Tonya is an amazing creator she does so many things on her channel she does both creator sims let's play speed builds and just a whole bunch of things so make sure you go ahead and subscribe because I'm sure there'll be something there you're gonna like so Tonya actually asked me to collab a little while ago, a few months ago, and I really, really wanted to, but things just kind of got in the way and it was just really hard to get time to do it. But I thought then since this is collab week on my channel, which I'm going to explain what that is in just a second, I thought it'd be a perfect opportunity to go ahead and do this. So collab week on my channel, like I was mentioning, basically this week from the 14th of August till the 20th, I'll be doing seven different collabs with seven of my sim friends. So today we're here with one with Tonya. Earlier this week, we've had people on the channel such as as Simployed and Simproved and next, sorry not next week, um, in like a few days time we've also got people like X Seven Sims X and Spring Sims so make sure you go ahead and stay tuned for that. I did actually go ahead and make kind of like an announcement video, it was only like a minute or so, kind of just telling you about what was happening this week so that was posted on the 13th so make sure you go ahead and check that out so you can see the full lineup for the week. So this home kind of has a colonial style to it. Now um, I haven't done a colonial style home before, I mean I do have a plan to to do a speed build actually on it but never done it before now um i'm not kind of like 100 percent sure of kind of what a colonial style kind of interior design would look like um i'm presuming it's kind of more of well i've seen some pictures it's more of like a traditional style home and um, but with this home i did actually include some of those traditional style things but i also went ahead and added in a few things like um some more modern style things now that isn't something i do a whole lot of but you know um, and, and like in traditional style homes but it is something i have been doing recently is can you just add in a few modern aspects into homes you wouldn't really think to be modern now i really like doing that because i kind of go with the mindset okay these owners are kind of renovating home as they go on here and you know every and uh, now and again they are updating you know little bits of the house and I think that's kind of a really good idea to kind of incorporate modern stuff into it as well not like really futuristic modern I mean like some like just slightly more newer type of things I guess and yes yeah, so we're just working on this living room here now I really really like this Um, it is kept pretty spacious actually I didn't kind of cram it up you know too much Um, so as you can see there we have kind of like a big family seating area in the middle there and I also did kind of like a little reading sort of library sort of thing off to the side there and I wasn't really too sure what to do with this corner because I felt like adding in another like seating like a mini seating um, area would kind of be too much so I just went ahead and added in like a like a family computer desk there and um, here I'm just putting a console table in because you know that's always a good thing to kind of fill up space space what wait how did I say that I said like space what <laughs> anyway I'm a mess today I've literally done like five videos today I'm kind of like it's currently the 12th of August today and club week starts in two days time and I've still got a few videos to kind of render and stuff so I'm getting a little bit stressed <laughs> but I think it'll be okay um and yes yeah, so if well I should have done an introduction first that's kind of bad of me so if you're coming over from Tonya's channel and you haven't seen one of my videos before my name is Thomas and I have a channel here called Thomas TV where I make a range of different Sims 4 videos mainly so I do speed builds which is kind of like the main thing on my channel like this and um, I also do a range of other things such as creator sims, towny makeovers, um, let's plays, machinimas, CC shopping videos, just pretty much anything you can think of to do with the Sims 4 so um, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button to not miss a single of my upcoming videos and also this month in August I am doing a video every single day so there's going to be lots of new content for you to enjoy and um, but in like other months like which is not I'm doing a full month of and um, my normal schedule is kind of like five videos a week and um, which is normally every day apart from Tuesdays and Thursdays but 
you know, sometimes I do like YouTube bonus videos. And yes, yeah, so we're currently just working on the kitchen here. Now, I went for this kind of neutral colour scheme throughout the house. Um, most, I think all of the rooms actually had their wallpapers already put in. And I know they're kind of like plain, like neutral colour when you, somebody moves in, then you can like kind of change it up. But I kind of like that. Um, so I kind of, I think I might have changed up one or two of the bed. Yeah, I did actually. Um, one or two of the bedrooms upstairs, I did go ahead and change um, for the like blue and a pink room um, for like a kid and like a like, boy and a girl kid. Um, and it's kind of not really a kid's room though. I kind of made it for more of a teenager, I can't speak here, I'm talking too fast, a teenager sort of age range, and um, it doesn't really have any kids toys in them, which is something I've been doing a lot more, I feel like it just looks a lot more cleaner, and um, you know, if you do go ahead and download it for yourself, and the sim that you're playing with does have a kid, then you know, you could easily add a few kids toys in there, and if you don't, they just have a nice luxurious sort of upper scale bedroom, I suppose, and yes, yeah, so we're just working on this kitchen, like I said, got a classic island there, which I always like to put in my kitchens, which have the room for it. Um, so for this island, I don't have to do it too often, but I went ahead and slightly moved it off the grid. Sometimes islands are kind of too close to one counter and then not the other counter on the other side of it. So sometimes you have to adjust it around sometimes, but that's all right. And one thing that really annoys me with counters, well, islands, I should say, is that it's kind of really odd the way that the items clip to it. I mean, it only like clips to the uh, counters as other, you know, items were that if you were to put it down on a normal counter, but it's kind of just looks really odd. So I always have to move islands out the way to like move items in. It's just really irritating. <laughs> so we're just going around here doing some wall decorations. So I went ahead and put a few shelves in, um, which is something I've been doing quite a lot recently. I know it's not really a big kind of like thing, just putting shelves on a wall, <laughs> but it's kind of like one of those things I feel like adds a lot more detail to a build. And I really want to, like recently I've been paying a lot more attention to those little details and I feel like that add a lot to it. Um, so that's what I'm doing right here. Now, as you can see, I did that thing where I put the painting on the shelf. Now, I know it doesn't actually sit on the shelf. It's kind of, you just have to move around with the uh, move objects on. But um, it's something I've seen done before. I've never actually done that before. And um, I've always thought it looks a little bit weird because, like, it looks like the painting would, like, fall forward because it hasn't got, like, a slant. It's kind of, like, up against the wall with a shelf underneath it. It looks a little bit odd sometimes, but I wanted to go ahead and try it out today. Um, you know, just to switch things up a little bit in terms of finishing, even though it isn't really a major thing. So we're now working on the downstairs bedroom. Sorry, bathroom. Um, there isn't actually be any bedrooms um, downstairs. There are upstairs. There's actually uh, four bedrooms in this home, and I think there's three bathrooms. Um, I think there's actually two bathrooms upstairs and one down here. Um, so that bathroom is kind of just a little bit under the stairs, kind of. Not exactly, but that's kind of what it's going for, I think, in terms of what it's meant to look like. Um, so this is the garage here. Now, um, the garage doors are a little bit kind of narrow, um, but I know it's kind of just to look for like decoration I guess because we don't actually have those in the Sims 4 um, but you know I just put a few different decorations in here and things like that I would find in a garage you know like um, a working station there like a woodworking station and some Halloween making things I know it's not really Halloween yet when I'm recording this but you know just um, just to kind of put that sort of type of item into it I thought it kind of fit there nicely and yeah, so also I didn't mention, but this is up on the gallery. So make sure you head over there. My origin ID is real Thomas TV one If you'd like to go ahead and download this for yourself or the unfurnished version, and I'll leave a link down below to that if you'd like to go ahead and um, download that version instead and check out the creator that I, I got this home for, from, sorry. And yeah, so this is the master bedroom we're working on here. Um, so those windows were a little bit awkward to try and find a curtain for. And you may have seen I did actually put one on there just before there, but it wasn't really... It kind of just didn't really fit it that well in terms of the colour scheme I was going for in this room. Um, so for this room, I went with a neutral colour scheme, but it was kind of more monochrome, which is something I haven't really done before. Um, well, I don't really do it a whole lot. It's normally just neutral colours, like creams and stuff, but I've never really went for like white and black, which is something I kind of went for a few times in this home. Um, so yeah, we're just working on this bathroom here, which is one of the upstairs ones. Um, all the bathrooms in this home are pretty decent sizes, so I didn't really have a problem of having to do like half bathrooms or anything. Thing. All of them were like kind of uh, full size bathrooms, which was great. So we kind of got the, you know, the double shower and um, bath there as well, which I really like. So this was kind of like a little hallway between the kind of master bedroom and the kind of master bathroom, I suppose, like the ensuite to the master bathroom. Kind of like a little hallway connecting them to like a separate part of the house, I guess. Um, but it was kind of awkward to decorate in there because it was too tiny to put anything proper. But at the same time, it would kind of looked a little bit odd to have it plain. So I went ahead and just put a few plants in there, I think. I can't exactly remember, <laughs> even though I just did it like two seconds ago. And I think I 
I put a few chairs in there as well. I mean, you couldn't really sit in there, like, literally just looking at a, a blank wall. <laughs> but, you know, I just, I can just put it in there. It doesn't really matter, to be honest. Um, so, working on this room here, I, this room is a little bit more brighter in terms of, I went for, like, a more of a cream colour for the colour scheme, which I thought looks nice. And um, the other two bedrooms, like I said, are the girls' and the boys' room. So, change that to blue and pink and I mean you could easily change that if you like to to kind of fit your family when you download it if you like to and yes yeah, so this home didn't take me very long at all to decorate and um, I think it just took me about an hour I'm going to go ahead and just check my recording uh, folder here and see how long it says the duration time was uh, one hour 17 minutes and that includes me going through you know this, doing the screenshots and making the little video thing at the start so probably around I'd say about just over an hour I think um, so you know not too long at all which is great because sometimes it's just kind of nice to not have to sit there for hours and hours and end. Um, I was going to say when it's kind of hot side, you know, because this is during the summer time. But remember, I live in the UK, so it's kind of raining all the time, and it's literally raining outside right now. So <laughs> it just proves my point. Um, and yes, yeah, so we're just working on this hallway area here. Now there is this also this like kind of narrow hallway there, which was really de like just awkward to um, decorate. Only put a paint in there and light, and that was pretty much it because you can literally do nothing with that uh, size there. And we've also kind of got the main hallway area where the stairs kind of finished off so I put a few seats there and a bookshelf and um, I was going to go ahead and put another computer there but it didn't really fit and I thought you know there is one in the main living room so I thought it doesn't really matter you know if I don't manage to get one in and um, so I just decided not to. So this is the last bathroom that we're working on. So that was kind of like down the hallway. So, you know, you have the master room, which has kind of like a bathroom connected to it. And then there's kind of like the other bedroom. And then you kind of got the boys in the kids room, which have like this little hallway going to their uh, side of the home, I guess you could say, with a bathroom connected to there. So this type of layout is really, really nice. I think this did, well, the creator did a fantastic job at going ahead and decorating this place. Sorry, I mean, well, I did decorate it. I was supposed to say the floor plan. There we go. I'm a mess today. <laughs> if you know my channel, this probably isn't a good first impression but I can literally not get my words out and I just make a mess all the time with my voiceover so <laughs> anyway so this is the kind of girls bedroom here I put a little TV in it and um, the layouts of kind of like the boys and the girls room are pretty much the same there isn't really anything different about them apart from the color scheme you know they've still got that bed and the same dresser and things just to keep it even and they don't end up having fights about who has the best furniture and things like that and yes, that is pretty much it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed. Make sure you head over to Tonya's channel. I'll leave a link down below to that. So you can go ahead and her type of kind of what she did with a decoration. And then in the comment section down below, let us know who do you think won the battle, me or Tonya. And yes, so thanks for watching. And make sure you head over to the gallery to download this for yourself. My origin ID is RealThomasTV1. I'm going to leave you here with some screenshots. Make sure you leave a like, share and subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.